Before I start, let me just remind you to always wear your face shield with a face mask. There have been studies that show that a face shield alone cannot protect you from the COVID-19 virus. So be safe, protect yourself, protect the other people around you. Always wear a face mask when you're out in public and wear a face shield as added protection. Hello everyone and welcome to Tiny DIYs, where I talk about crafts and home improvement hacks. So last week I showed you how I made my own perfect fitting face mask. For this episode, I was thinking of ways how you can turn household materials into face masks. Household materials into face shields. You don't have to spend anything because a face shield is quite easy to do. You just have to remember that it only needs a couple of parts the plastic covering and the headgear made of an elastic and a cushion for your head. So I spent the last couple of days just listing down the ordinary household materials that you can use for a face shield and I'm sure you'd be surprised with the stuff I was able to use. So check out this video and see what I did. The first thing you need to find is a clear plastic panel for your face shield. You can buy acetate sheets from the bookstore or if you're trying to reuse household items, you can check your office or school supplies for plastic folders or document holders like this. You can also look for plastic packaging. Just make sure it's stiffer than this one and will hold its shape. Once you have your plastic panel, cut it into the perfect size. For this one, I traced and cut my panels using an existing face shield as a guide. I also use some electrical tape to cover the top and hide the glue that I will use later. With an old face towel serving as an alternative to the foam that is usually attached to the face shield, use hot glue to attach a piece of ribbon that is long enough to be tied around your head. Roll up the towel until you get to the end which you will secure with more hot glue. Since one strip of electrical tape is not enough to hide a towel, put some more until the towel is hidden. Washi tape and craft tape are good alternatives as well. Once done, attach the towel to the plastic panel with lots of hot glue. Be careful not to touch the hot glue. And you're done! For this one, all you need are bubble wrap, clear plastic, garter or elastic, and some clear tape. The first step is to cut the garter long enough that it will fit your head. The one I used was around 25 inches long. Simply sew the ends together. And slip it around the bubble wrap. Make sure the bubble wrap's width is slightly longer than your forehead. Using clear tape, secure the elastic on the bubble wrap. Then simply roll the bubble wrap until it reaches your desired thickness. Cut the excess bubble wrap and just use clear tape to secure the ends. Make sure you don't tape up the rest of the elastic. And then just use more clear tape to attach the plastic panel to the bubble wrap. Do not use hot glue on this because the plastic will just melt and won't look good. I think it turned out quite nice. You can cover it, of course, with tape if you don't like the way it looks here. But I think it's kind of fun. If you have an old eye mask, it would be the perfect headgear for a face shield. I have this old cat eye mask and I simply cut off the eyes. Sorry, cat. And using some old dishwashing sponge, I stuffed the mask. If your mask doesn't have a pocket like mine did, 
You can simply fold it and glue the edges together. Once the foam was in, I tried using hot glue to secure it. But it kept unraveling so I decided to hand stitch it close. Before I attached the plastic panel, I measured it with a headgear and folded accordingly to give the sides a bit of a bend. And now it's time to stick them together with hot glue. Because I didn't like how the glued part looked, I used electrical tape on the plastic panel to hide that part. And don't forget to cut it to size. So this one is made from the old eye mask I had and I covered the top with an electrical tape because the glue gun part didn't look so nice and I think it turned out quite well. It's very comfy and I like that it's curved here so you're quite protected. For this one, my dad gave me a crazy idea. What if we use the mesh foam that serves as fruit packaging? It is technically foam and it's quite easy to cut and form. So I simply cut them open, attached a ribbon to the edge, and rolled them together. Here's a tip. Use clear tape instead of hot glue so the mesh won't melt from the heat. Again, use clear tape to attach the mesh to the plastic panel. And that's it! I think I'm going to cover this with something else like duct tape because it's cute if you're into pink but it doesn't look as polished as the other ones. But you know what? It's actually quite comfy, like the bubble wrap. Okay, so now it's time to check out what we made. So those were the four face shields that I was able to make without spending any money. Comment down below what your favorite is. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If this is the second time you're viewing my channel, I hope you'd like and subscribe. And next week, I'll share with you another DIY video. Bye!